Hey, this is Kathy from Kathy Cooks For You and welcome back to my kitchen. I have something a little scary that we're gonna be doing. Um, it's gonna be three episodes and we're gonna do organ meats. Now you're wondering why, pray tell, would you do organ meats? Well, one of the reasons is because I grew up eating them. I grew up eating gizzard, cow tongue, and liver. We didn't have heart, I don't think. But gizzards, chicken gizzards, cow tongue, and liver, they were on our menu. And one of my nieces asked, her name is Summer, if I would put a few episodes on YouTube. So here we go. So our first one is cow tongue. Now, my mom would boil it, slice it, and fry it. Um, how I like to eat it is pickled. How I started eating pickled tongue is because my husband used to live in Bakersfield. And Bakersfield has a high population of Basque individuals. And ba the Basque region is in Spain and it, it borders like France. And so it's in Northern Spain on the Atlantic Ocean. And there's a lot of Basque restaurants there. Wool Growers was the famous one that everybody um, tried to get their reservation in, and that's the one um, Trey's family would take me to. And they served pickled tongue, and I could not get enough of it. Now, I love vinegar. I love pretty much anything pickled, so why wouldn't I like pickled organ meats, right? So I found this 0.8 pound one. Um, can you see that? Can you see the the... It's got like, you know, um, it's not too attractive. We'll be peeling the skin off after it cooks. And um, you know, it has this, it's a muscle. It's just muscle inside. So you gotta get over that it's cow tongue. Maybe this is from a, I guess it's from a little cow now that I think about it. Um, so what we are going to do first is we are going to put this in boiling water and we are going to let it simmer for two to three hours. So I have my water here, so let's get this bad boy in there and um, let it get simmering. Okay, let's put that in there. Let's just let that simmer. Okay. Okay, our two hours is up. Let's look at this. All right. Oh, we've got a water pocket in the tongue. Oh, wait, you can't see. Let's get some of that. It's much smaller. Wow. I guess a roast breaks. I think there's just water inside that part of the tongue. Okay, so now we're going to let it rest for five, ten minutes, and then we're going to peel this skin off. Ooh, we're going to peel this layer off, and uh, then I'll tell you what to do next. All right, here is my piece of meat. Um, I don't, um, it's not attractive. Uh, do you see that? Those are like little rubbery phalanges. I don't know. Um, it's not attractive at all, but it is just a muscle. I'm just gonna pop this. I don't know if it's full of water. Yeah, it's, it's just full of some water. Um, okay, so let's try to, Open this up. I'll go where it lifted. Oh, this is this is gross, guys. I'm not I'm not lying. I mean, you could you if you were in a pinch, you could use that for some sandpaper. Um, gosh, it does come off nicely. I wonder if I'm supposed to take this membrane off too. Let's get layer one off, and then we'll decide. Okay, so that peeled off super easy. Super yucky. Okay, now I see there's this membrane, but then I'm seeing another one right there. So we'll let's try to get both of them. Okay, this this looks like you have to more go like this. How you would um <laughs> to me this is how you would skin a deer. You know, you you get your knife in there and you just keep going like that. So we'll just in this yeah, and it looks like we take because this whole is one piece of well, I don't know I don't know guys we'll learn together we're skin and deer okay, let's start at this end let's see let's see what 
the tip of the tongue is like, well, I don't know, it's kind of harder to hold that in. I'm just going to go down the middle. Okay, we're gonna leave it as this and we're gonna leave this layer on. Yeah, let me, let me let's just see. I just don't wanna take the meat and, and I'm taking the meat. So we're leaving it. Okay, we are gonna wrap this in tin foil so we don't have to look at it in the fridge and we're gonna let it sit for 24 hours in there and it's gonna get super dense. Okay, it's the next day. We've got our beef tongue here. Uh, I did have to have my son try it. He wanted to try it, so I sliced a little off, but let's get to slicing this as thin as we possibly can. And then we're gonna put our marinade on it, and it's gonna sit in our fridge one to three days. We'll see if I could hold out and let it sit three days without trying it. It's a beauty. It's a beauty. Okay, yeah, it's pretty easy to slice. Should we try a piece before pickling it? There it is. A little rubbery. Um, the acid in the vinegar will break some of that down. It has a mild liver taste, but not much. Not much flavor. Oh, it's gonna be good with that vinegar and that garlic. Now that we have this done, we can layer it. We get it in our bowl here. And then we're just gonna put our ingredients in there. Get all my pieces. We're gonna put a half a cup of olive oil. Seems like a lot, but now remember, this is a small amount of, uh, of beef. You, you want it to cover it pretty much. Then a quarter cup of vinegar, pinch of salt, Bunch of parsley, it's about a third of a cup. I used an apple cider vinegar, but red wine vinegar would be okay, and so would regular. Um, but I think red wine would be better than regular. It's a little extra flavor. Okay, so let's see. Just mix that all up. And we will stir this often, a couple times a day, and it's gonna be in the fridge for one to three days marinating. All right, it is time to try the cow tongue. Okay, let me just get a piece that was underneath. I'm gonna get a little onion in there too. I'm just gonna take a whole slice because that's how I'd eat it at the restaurant. Mmm. That is so good much more tender, it's not chewy anymore. Um, I will say after 24 hours, I added two more tablespoons of vinegar. Now what to do with this pickled cow tongue? Well, if you were at the Wool Growers restaurant, when you sit down, you would order a setup. And the setup would be like pickled tongue, you'd get spaghetti and sauce, you'd get a vegetable, usually beans or corn, then you'd get pinto beans, you get a salad that has a delicious garlic dressing on it, you get bread, and you get cabbage soup, which is basically like cabbage water. So that is what we are having tonight. We are having the traditional wool growers setup. Thank you so much for watching Kathy Cooks For You. If you have not already, please subscribe below, and I would love to hear from you with a comment or a thumbs up.